Eight individuals are facing criminal charges as well as civil charges over a pump and dump stock scheme carried out on social media, one that earned them fraudulent profits of over $100 million. Basically, these men, and they were all men, would buy stocks then encourage their over 1.5 million followers to buy the same ones. Then, when prices were going up, the accused would sell without disclosing it, leaving their dupes holding the bag. All eight are now facing 25 years in prison for conspiracy to commit securities fraud. The U.S. has also charged seven people involved in a scheme to smuggle sanctioned American-made equipment to the Russian military. According to the indictment, thousands of bullets as well as semiconductors and other sensitive electronic components were involved. Three of the accused, including the one U.S. citizen, are in custody, four are at large, and all of them are facing 30-year sentences. And the U.S. Space Force may not have conquered space just yet, but it has launched its first command unit on foreign soil. It's being set up at Osan Air Base in South Korea, where it'll be able to better monitor possible missile threats from North Korea. It could also at some point be called upon to deal with China and Russia's developing anti-satellite technology. Steve Carell sitcoms aside, it might be time to start taking Space Force seriously. I'll be back in a flash with more headlines, so don't go away.